Hey guys, Gravender here, and welcome back to another episode of Marvel Contest of Champions. And in this episode, we're going to be taking our four-star guillotine from rank 2, level 20 of 20, up to rank 3, level 30 of 30, and getting her prepared and ready to go into the arenas to help us out and pretty much anything else that we need help with. Uh, I was pretty psyched when I got her, actually. Uh, not just because she's a pretty awesome champion, but because of the fact that she's the only unique character to this game. She's the only one that was made specifically for this game and now translates into the comics. So she's a pretty awesome, unique champion that you're not going to find in any of their games. But starting off at rank 2, level 20 and 20, Guillotine is sitting at 1,729 on her power index, 5,998 on her health, 508 on her attack, Ancestor Strength Signature Ability, obviously not unlocked because she is not awakened. And she has the Soul Harvest 4 and Bleed 4 abilities. Now, her synergies, she has a 6% armor with Black Panther, 6% attack with Venom, 5% perfect block chance with Captain America World War II, and a 25% crit damage boost with Magic. Now, these are some pretty good champions that I could actually use her with. Um... Captain America, World War II, and Black Panther, definitely. I do not have Venom, and I don't use the same class champions, so Magic's definitely out of the question on that one. But let's jump out of here and jump in and level one up, because I know it's going to take a little bit, because I do not have the Tier 5 ISOs for this one, so it's going to take a little bit. I got a lot of some other stuff though. I have some tier fours basics that'll probably help out some. We got a couple of tier five basics. Not many, I think I've only got like three of them, but this is absolutely all of the mystic that I have right now too. Cleaned everything out and put it in here ready to go for her whenever I was t gonna level her up, so. So let's see, all of our mystic that we had left get us to about 19 and two thirds or so. But I've got a ton of tier fours, so it should help in getting us there. Oh yeah, we're almost there anyway. I'll just claim those anyway, just get them out of there. So it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to take a lot more to get her where we needed her. Still got plenty of those left over. She's already looking pretty good though. Got 27. Try and save some cash here. So I don't want to throw it on her if I don't have to. I think all of our bases should be covered on that one, so let's go ahead and take her up. Oh yeah, perfect. Hop out of here and see where she lands at.
So actually, she's pretty good, pretty decent. Uh, falls in at number four on our unawakened list, so that's pretty good. Uh, she's definitely higher than Jane Foster Thor, so that will make her our highest rated unawakened mystic champion. So that, that definitely helps out. She falls right in line with Captain America World War II as well. Black Panther's not that far up. So that'll actually make a pretty good little team. After the rank up, she is currently sitting at 2,437 on her power index. 8,393 on her health. 711 on her attack. Soul Harvest and Bleed both went up to 5. So overall, she looks pretty good in my opinion. I think she's, as far as I can tell, she looks like a good champion. Uh, in well, like fighting with her, she's definitely a good champion. Uh, the only thing I would say anybody would really have to worry about worry about with her is if you're going up against a champion that has willpower, because she does have bleed and stacks bleed. So that's definitely one of the big disadvantages is going up against a champion with willpower. Other than that, though, Guillotine's pretty awesome. Uh, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Later.